anointing is a carrier of power and spirit. Anointing is a carrier of power and spirit. Anytime and anywhere anointing is released, spirits are transferred. Amen. Anointing is not just the oil you see and you're coming. Anytime anointing is released upon a man, power and spirits are what are transferred. The anointing is not just the oil, but the power and the force in the oil. Amen. The oil cannot do anything, but the power and the force in the oil are the power that you see in action. The oil you see is ineffective. The oil you see is powerless without the presence of the spirit and the power in the oil. Amen. Any man you see that is anointed by the anointed, any man you see that is the anointed by the anointed is actually carrying a spirit yes. and forces that are being transferred for him to do what he couldn't do. I hear you, sir. Anointing is a force of spiritual initiation. Anointing is an introduction of natural man into the world of the supernatural. Amen. Can I preach here? Yes, sir. Yeah. Can I preach here? Yes, yes sir. sir. When anointing comes upon a man, never you underestimate a man that carries the anointing. Never you mock a man that carries the anointing. Yes. Never you try to fight any woman that carries the anointing. The woman might look so small, she might look so irrelevant, but there is something inside her. Yes, sir. Oh my God. Say there's something inside me. There's something the inside her. Anointing is like an ant, he buys. Anointing is like an ant. It was a bite. Elijah, the teach bite. You touch him, he bites you. He's not the one biting you. You know what is biting you? The, the anointing. anointing. Amen. Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. The man cannot do anything but what he carried does all. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Let's look at the scripture. First Samuel chapter 16, verse 13. Look at the scripture. I will analyze the scripture to you. When I open your eyes to this scripture, you will be tasting of the anointing. Amen. You will not take advantage of anointing or your service. You will not take advantage to, on any service where people are being anointed. Amen. Yes, you become privileged when you see people be anointed. Except the one anointing man do not know the efficacy, the importance of what he's doing. If he understand the importance of anointing people, he will know that a virtues are being transferred. Amen. Say the anointing. The, the anointing. The power. The power in the anointing. In the anointing. Say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Lord. I need your anointing. I need, I need your anointing. anointing. Amen. Do you know there's something in chicken? Yeah. That thing is black. When you are killing a chicken, you are very much careful not yes. to bust it. Yes, yes, sir. Why? If you bust it, you spread the homies. Okay, yes. yes. When you carry the anointing, you are like that thing all over your body. A witch cannot eat you. Yeah. Amen. Oh, I hear that, sir. Anointing is like parasite. Anywhere you enter, if you are a trouble of the one that carries it, it will suck you. Mm -hmm. Read the scripture for me. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him. Then Samuel him. took the horn of an oil and anointed him in the midst of his brothers. In the midst of others, you'll be single out for success. Amen. You'll be single out for honor. Amen. Amen. Say, I am different. I, I am different. different. Say, I am distinguished. I, I am distinguished. From other people. From, from other people. people. Other men. From, from other men. From other workers. From, from other, other workers. Other from, from other, other businessmen. Amen. Amen. In the midst of others, he was too separated. Can I tell you this? Yes, sir. Others might not succeed in your family, but it is practically impossible for you to understand the mystery behind the oil and still remain unsuccessful. Yes. Practically impossible. I have come to understand that beauty does not guarantee success, yes, but yes. you can never see a man that carry anointing and remain useless. Amen. 
Yes, sir. Can I preach here? Yes, yes sir. sir. In the means of his brothers, the horn of oil was poured on him. Something happened immediately. The oil was honored. Any man that carried oil don't live in horror. Amen. Oh, God. Many of you will see, see never you play with anointing. Yes, sir. Don't play with anointing. Don't play with the anointing. So many people, what they are struggling for or what they are praying for is in the hand of the anointing. It's just a matter of releasing it. Yes, sir. And Jesus said, someone have touched me. Peter said to him, there are a lot of people here. How can you say someone have touched you? He said, I know because a virtue has what? Has, has left, left me. me. Read the scripture. And the spirit of the Lord came upon David from that and day forward. And the spirit, what brought the spirit? The oil. oil. Now listen to this, ladies and gentlemen. Any man that carries oil is never a victim of destruction. Do you know why? Whenever the oil comes upon a man, he's connected to heaven for heavenly track and followers. I hear you. The oil touched his head. The spirit came upon him. The spirit were not just there to watch and see. They were there for activities. Yes. Oh God. Somebody following me now? Yes, sir. They were not just there to be looking for him to be a fine man. No. The spirit came upon him and watched this. That means anointing is an introducer of forces. Mm -hmm. So whenever oil touch the head of a man, spirits are being introduced into the life of the man. Meaning the man or the woman is initiated into a spirit war. Go fast. Can I preach here? Yes, yes sir. sir. Can I preach here? Yes, sir. Anointing create relationship. Amen. It makes you to have an access to unknown being and invisible being, though they are pure. So Samuel went to arose and went to Ramah. Uh -huh. But the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul. And the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul and a distressing spirit came upon him. Now watch this. The, the moment the oil of God touched the head of David, there were powers that entered him to function and do things that he couldn't do. Now watch this now again. Anointing activate the inner gift of a man. Amen. Am I preaching to people? Yes, yes sir. sir. Am I preaching to people? Yes, yes sir. sir. Do you know that the moment the oil touched the head of this man, he began to do what he couldn't do. He was living the life of forest. But the moment the oil touched him, he was identified with royalty. The the DNA of royalty enter him. Can I tell you this? Yes, How sir. do you carry God and live poor? How do you carry God and suffer? How do you carry God and be mesmerized? How do you carry God and be in shame? You know why I'm telling you all this? Because when you carry the anointing, suffocate anything that are not of Amen. God. Can I pray for somebody here? Yes, sir. In this service you have come, whatsoever that is not of God in your life, I guarantee you they shall die. Amen. Amen. I said they shall die. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. In verse 15. And Saul's servant said to him. And Saul's servant said to the master. Surely a now, distressing spirit. Read it. I want to analyze it. Read it. Surely a distressing spirit from God is troubling you. Uh -huh. Let our master now command your servants who are before you to seek out a man who is a skillful player now, on the field. Watch this. Watch this. When the spirit came upon him, his gift was activated. He was not the one looking for connection. Contacts are looking for him. Mm. Like a businessman, you want to succeed? Let the oil touch you. You want to prosper? Let the oil touch you. You want to be the best among other workers in your office? Let the oil touch you. There was no way David advertised what he could do. Yes, sir. And can I tell you this? Yes, sir. When the oil comes upon you, you don't work for ordinary men, supernatural men, not seek for you. They are the one looking for you. You don't look for them. Why? Anointing avatar. Can I tell you this? Yes, sir. Put oil on this hand. 
and you hold it, what will happen? It will advertise itself that there's an oil in this hand. Can I tell you this? Yes, sir. Any man that is anointed in the family is supposed to stain the family with the greatness of God. Amen. Amen. Can I pray for somebody? Yes, yes sir. You see, this service will come. Yes, sir. It's not like the service of other days. Amen. This one is a service of heavenly impartation. Mm. When it touch your head, I am telling you, you will become a different being. Amen. Amen. I cannot hear that in my head. Amen. I cannot hear that in my head. Amen. Amen. Master, punish me. Because I can see that the distressing spirit of the Lord is upon you. Let us look for a man who is skillful. Can I tell you this? Yes. Anointing activates your gift Amen. and your skills. Yes, There's a man in the Bible, they call him Bezali. Bezali was a man that God touched with his anointing. Out of all the Israelites that were there, there were exceptional gifts upon this man. And God actually told Moses, why not get this man so that he can help you to build the tabernacle and everything you need to do. Because there's an exceptional gift on him because the anointing of God has touched him. Amen. Yes, sir. You see this city? There are people who will come, suffer, suffer, they will go home yes. because they feel. And in the same city, there are people who will come here they are going home to Lipopo, to KZN, to Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is my second, third of all. Sorry, shut fire. Fire. Zambia, Malawi, Nigeria, Ghana. Can I tell you this? Yes, sir. They are not going home because of hardship. They are going home to invest. Yes, sir. There are two categories of people who return home. Those who fail and those who went with success. Amen. You will not fail. Amen. Amen. Uh, if only your amen can be heard. Amen. I said, you will not fail. Amen. Amen. People will not contribute money for them to carry your dead body home. Amen. Amen. In this city, you make it. Amen. Yes. You are going to the people, you are happy. Amen. Amen. You are going to Cape Town, you are happy. Amen. Amen. You are going to Devon, you are happy. Amen. Amen. You are going to Zimbabwe, you are happy. Amen. Amen. You are going to Nigeria, you are happy. Amen. Amen. You are going to Ghana, you are happy. Amen. Amen. You are going to Togo, you are happy. Amen. Amen. You are going to Malawi, you are happy. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Somebody say the anointing. The anointing. anointing. Somebody say the anointing. The, the anointing. anointing. In verse 17. And it shall be that he will play it with his hand when the distressing spirit from God is upon you, and it shall be well. How do you expect hearts to chase away spirits? Anything in the hand of the anointed is anointed. Mm. Can I say that again? Yes, yes sir. You know what is heart? Heart is like a wooden string. Yes. There are strings to it. Sometimes people put it like this and play it like jitter, but not yes. jitter. Now, how do you expect such a thing? How many times have these people played? Do you see any devil, devil they chase away? Mm -hmm. Do you see anyone that even manifests? No. Or say mama, papa? No, sir. But when, when it's in the hand, that's why I'm always praying for the, the, the instrumentalist. Because they fail to understand their ministry. Yes. Their ministry is a ministry of provocation. Amen. Do you know what I mean? Yes, sir. Any time they play or sing, they trouble the devil. There are people who are in a particular department. Can I tell you this? This is the office of God. Amen. With different departments. Yes, but if you lack the knowledge of the functionality of your department, you can be a victim of torture. Mm -hmm. I hear that, sir. When you sing, devil is supposed to go. Yes. Why? Light shineth upon darkness. What is that like? The presence of the Almighty. So when you sing, the Almighty will come down in His majesty, and you can never see where God is. Satan is still raising up His hand. Yes. So a singer and a player for God are deliverers. Mm -hmm. David was actually carrying out the function of a deliverer minister here. Yes, sir. Because he was chasing away evil spirits mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. with hearts. Amen. Did he pray? Did they fast here? No, no, sir. I'm not saying fasting is bad. Yes, sir. I'm not saying I am telling you the functionality of the anointing in the life of a man. Amen. It can be this flower. When the anointing lifts it up, you will see things that are there, your life begin to grow. Mm. Yes, sir. Fast. Now that's time. Some time ago, I said this, I think two years ago. A young man stole eyeglasses of a prophet, yes. Asian prophet, mm. and put it on his eye. Immediately he wore it. What happened? He began to see. See demons. See the people who are supposed to use their legs to walk, using their heads to walk. They 
run back, you can't steal from the anointing. Uh, yeah. Let me say. Yeah. You'll be under torment. Do you know that there are people who steal from people, they go and kill themselves? Yeah. Yes, sir. You will steal from the anointing. Mm. When you steal from the anointing, you'll be tormented. Amen. Run back. That is, that is, that is. Take your glass. From where? What happened? Say, I stole it. Say, no, I give it back to you. That is why sometimes I have ministered in so many places in different cities, different nations. When I minister, God said, remove your watch. This person's life is tied down. As long as the watch in your hand leaves to his hand, his destiny watch will change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, some time ago, uh, a couple, they were, they were speaking of their problem. What was their problem? When they were getting, when, when, when they were celebrating their marriage ceremony, they are on their wedding day, somebody brought a gift of work clock. Programmed the work clock and said, the moment you stop, everything around your life will stop, including childbearing. And they never knew. Do you know that there are some gifts in your home you have never opened it? Yeah. Hello? Hi. There are some people who pack gifts. Yes, they don't sir. even open it. Yes, sir. Do you know that there are some of you that you find it difficult to gift out what you receive as a gift? Yes, sir. Am I preaching to somebody? Yes, yes sir. That's why don't be so greedy. Anytime God says remove that shoe, quickly remove it. He knows why he asks you to remove it. Yes. Anytime God says give out that watch, quickly you remove the watch. Anytime God says remove that jacket, can I tell you this? Yes. God is actually trying to remove what the enemy have deposited. Oh, I say man. They never knew. They were on the, were, with that work clock. Some people thought that work clock is, is a fashion of beautifying the house. No, it's just to monitor your movement yes. and to quicken your what? Your, 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 your appointment or whatever you're going to. But there are some work clock in the house. They are not working. People just leave it there. Until one day, God opened the eyes of a prophet and said, there's a work clock if you don't play with prophets. Yes, sir. Most especially when the person is speaking your mind and the mind of God of things that you know and he doesn't know, even things that you don't even know, yes. know they're happening. Yeah. I guess certain prophecy of things that you don't know it will happen. Is it not true? Good, yes, true, sir. Some people say it's a planned prophecy. What do you mean by planned prophecy? Is it by force to prophesy? No, sir. If God will not reveal it, you close the service. Yes. Of a truth, God does not speak every time. Yes. Except he decides to speak. Then the prophet told them, there's a work clock in your house. Since that work clock stopped working, everything in your life stopped working. He said, work clock? He said, yes. He said, that work clock was given to you people when you were doing your wedding. And your unity, you two coming together, nothing ever worked. You were both doing well individually before. But the moment you came together, they used that clock to clock people down. Say, my father. My, my father. father. Anything. Anything that is fighting me, that, that is fighting and me. is living with me, and, and is living, living with before me. I get home, before, before I get home, even right now, even, even right, right now, now, let fire, let, let fire, fire destroy, it. destroy it, destroy it. Amen. You know, sometimes people will say we we spiritualize everything. Yes, because we are spirit. Yes, sir. Yes, the way you look at me now, will it mean it to you? Maybe you want to shoot arrow. No, it's true. One of the worst arrow, sensitive arrow, and fast arrow is the arrow of the eyes. Yes. That's how some people can be taken. And somebody flash arrow into the room with, with the eyes. You know, mama is forcing me. Daddy will have to buy ring. Daddy will have to wear ring. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Then nothing concerns me with the ring. There are people who will hold the ring like this, like this. Something is happening. Mm, yeah. The ring. I was invited to one baby naming ceremony or baby dedication. I can't even remember. Then my son said to me, that they are invited you here so that you can be able to watch. And I was watching. I was watching until one man came, put about four rings here, right here, and he was about to carry one child. I saw something sparkling. This are forces that siphon stars and destiny. Then my eyes and his eyes were trying to meet. And he never, can I tell you this? Yes, sir. There are things we can't say not to cause division. Because God is not an author of condition. But he didn't do it because I gave him a sign. Don't try it. Don't do it. That was why I didn't expose him. If he was to do it, I would tell my son, this man has got it. Yeah. Then I told him, 
When you get home, pour salt. I pray on the salt. Pour salt on the water and bathe that child well. So that those that enter before I came can be defied. Amen. Mm. Anything in the hand of the anointed is what? It's anointed. David was just playing harps. How do you expect that to chase away evil spirits? It was able to chase away the evil spirit. Number one reason, there are forces in the life of this man. Number two, anything he carried from that moment are what? Are anointed. May you be anointed. Amen. Amen. I said, may you be anointed. Amen. Amen. Read the scripture. So Saul said to his servants, provide me now a man who can play well and bring him to me. Then one of the servants um, answered and said, my playing. There are those days when we were young, my mother would tell us, if you go out, don't return. When you hear, do, 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 you say it's happening somewhere. I mean, I mean, if you remember, Obito, eh? when they are doing eh? burial, you just, especially those beneath the bars, oh God, even though you are eating, you lose appetite. You will hear, do, 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 and where they will trouble you. Where you regret of not going, it's around that midnight, 2 a.m. Why? Very tempting. Those bini players, those days of Osamori, are not. You'll be. Do, 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 do. In fact, you'll be dancing like Madma in the house. Meanwhile. <laughs> what am I trying to say? All those two, 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 do they chase the wedding more? No. Do they cast out anything more? No. The difference between these people and David is the anointing. Amen. Is the anointing. You can be selling vegetables here, downstairs there, or selling millies. You know millies, corn. Yes, sir. You are building a house. But the one who drives an executive car, stay in the air condition, cannot even buy it. Yeah. The true. difference is what? The anointing. He anointed my head with oil, Psalm 23 verse 5, and my cup runneth over. over. Whenever oil is present, emptiness will be picked up. Yes. Can I pray for somebody here? Yes, yes sir. sir. You see this service will come. Yes, Anywhere sir. you are empty, by the power of the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost will fill you up. Amen. Amen. In your home, fill up. Amen. In your account, fill up. Amen. In your family, fill up. Amen. In your children, fill up. Amen. In your expectation, fill up. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. A man that carries anointing can never die in the midst of the enemy. He prepared a table for me in the presence of my enemy and he anointed my hair with oil in the presence of the enemy. Can I tell you this? Yes, there sir. are things you don't respond to. There are levels you will get to in the areas of the anointing. When men are talking, you don't talk yes. because you know what you carry. You become unstoppable though you have followers that are fighters. I hear you, sir. It's only children that respond to everything. There are things you hear, you don't even respond to it. He says, does it mean it's not hearing? You heard, but it's quite unnecessary. Very much unnecessary. You must still respond to everything. Okay. It's only children that talk, 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 talk. In the journey of my ministry, I have met. In the journey of my ministry, I have corrected myself in certain mistakes and errors. You cannot say that you are in a journey of life, you don't make mistakes, but you will die in error when you are not noticing them and when you are not correcting them. You will hear you present, you did. Even when they are telling, say, hey, uh, uh, wow, okay, no problem. You know, we judge. You are gone. God is not a talkative God. Yes, sir. And He does not expect us to be talkative. In the days of old, when God sent a prophet a message, He expected him to carry out the portion and go. God sent a prophet to better. I said, God destroyed the order of her. And listen to me carefully well. Don't drink, neither eat. God is so accurate and God is so disciplined. Permit me to use that word. Very disciplined. He's a God of principle. That is why he doesn't just quickly release the anointing upon everybody so that they will not bring shame to you. The anointing came upon this man and he began to do what he couldn't do. 
He was linked to a spiritual world. You will become useless in life if you are still linked to a natural world. You will be you will be inactive. Your capacity will be small. Your strength will be nothing. But when we are connected to spirit through the through the impartation of the anointing, I am telling you, there are things you don't pray for. The spirit is supplied. Amen. Amen. Read the scripture. I want to finish the scripture. Amen. Amen. Then one of the servants answered and said, Look, I have seen a son of Jesse, the Bethlehemite, who is skillful in playing, a mighty man of valor. Since when? This was the man that was in the bush. But when, can I tell you this? Here you are, it doesn't matter when the anointing is in you. Do you know that there are native daughters who are in deep, deep forests? Cars cannot even get there. But you will see them who will park heavy cars somewhere. They are pulling up their, their trousers, walking inside for the bottom. Tubu? 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 Where are they going to? They are going in search of the native. Yeah. What are they searching for? What the man carry? Mm. I feel like praying for somebody here. Yes, sir. You see, there's something in you. Yes, sir. What you carry, people all over the world will come and look Amen. for you. Amen. I said, what you carry, people all over the world, they are coming to look for you. Amen. The oil you carry will bring them. Amen. The oil you carry will introduce you. Amen. The oil you carry will announce you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I know of a young son of Jesse that is so skillful in what he's doing. Can I tell you this? The skill was there, but it was not known because the oil was absent. There are so many of you now who are doing business. Can I tell you this? Anytime you are looking for connection, that contact is also looking for you. Chinese are busy manufacturing. Do you know that they themselves are looking for a, a contact in Africa? Because Africa is a center of selling anything sellable and unsellable. Yeah, most people who be carried today, many of them started with nothing. Yes, sir. They were being supplied with, no, with, with, with nothing. Because they hit a man that was also looking for their kind. As I tell you, if you want to serve God, serve God. You can't serve God and remember where you started. Should I say that again? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can't serve God and remain where you started. Yes. You can't serve God. You started serving God in poverty and die in poverty. Amen. It contradicts the scripture. I can say it again. For we know the grace that was upon Jesus Christ, he became poor, that through his poverty, me and you, my Lord, might become rich. rich. Amen. David was, David was making history and he was making an open remark. Since I was born, now I am old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken. Neither see his seed beg for bread. Meaning a father is supposed to leave inheritance for the children. Can I, can I change your mindset here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Those of you who are saying, I have given back to children so that they can also take care of me. Change that prayer. You have given back to children so that you can leave your inheritance for the Amen. children. Amen. Yes. Say, I changed my evil prayer. I changed my evil prayer. Say, I changed my evil prayer. I changed the evil prayer. Do you know that Abraham was so rich that he left his possession for Isaac? Isaac even shared it with his brother. Wealth. That's what they call wealth transfer. Wealth transfer. I know a lot of people are watching me now. Many people will agree with me on what I want to say now. And many will disagree. Do you know what the Bible says? It says, the Gentiles shall build my word, my tabernacle. If the Gentiles are not blessed, can they do it? Why will God leave the righteous and go and bless the Gentiles? Those who have the mind to follow him. The G Gentiles, as the Bible is concerned, are like unbelievers. Do you know that there are unbelievers, certain unbelievers give me better than people who are in the church? Go to Nigeria, you will see a Muslim who will bring two trucks of trailer. You see that they want to build a church. And he's bringing cement for the church to be built. Do you expect such a Muslim to be poor? Why a Christian in the church that can afford to do that and they refuse to do it and be rich? No, sir. God of principle. Somebody say God of principle. God, God of, of principle. principle. Celebrate Jesus here. <laughs> My pastor in Nigeria was talking to me that day. He said that, yes, yes. He said, I'm so shocked. He said, man was passing by. He said he heard that we were praying. And he came, he just buy fan in the church. Amen. I said, he said, it's something that I have done. Where I passed, I passed a mountain of fire in India in 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011. There was no fan in the church. I was pastoring and I was buying fan. I said, God has kept you pure. Amen. 
You thought, oh God, may you not allow anointing to pass you. Amen. Amen. Don't allow. I keep on telling you every day of my life, certain people that are not alive, they are changing my story. Amen. I might not have billions in the account, but I am very, very satisfied. Amen. And in heaven, I'm more than a billionaire. I'm more than a trillionaire. Amen. I'm telling you. Now, why was he able to do that? In Isaiah, before the time, Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27. Why was he able to do that? It shall come to pass in that day that the body shall be taken away from the shoulder and yoke off from the neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed. He didn't say the yoke shall be broken. When something is broken, it can be mended. But when something is destroyed, it is wasted. Anointing is a waster. Amen. Amen. It shall come to pass in that day that the body shall be taken away off the what? The shoulder. And the yoke off the neck. And the Bible says, the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Yoke is like a wooden and metal structure placed in the neck of an, an, an animal. Number one, to control the movement and number two, to carry load, to pull load. There are so many of you here. Why you are so slow in the journey of life is the load you are carrying. Yes, yes sir. sir. When you carry the anointing, it will break it, Amen. destroy it, render it worse. Burden is a forceful load. Burden. There are many of you living on that life of burden. Stress, depression. Before you finish one, another one will come. Before you finish one, another one will come. You know, I was talking to somebody. I said, it will take the grace of God to succeed in advanced nations. Can I say that again? Yes, yes sir. sir. Do you know that if we go to most places like West Africa, like, to like Togo, uh, Congo, most, most of these nations, you see a yoga building a house because they can easily save. But in developed nations, before you finish one beam, another one has come. Yes. Before you finish another one, another one has come. It will only take the grace of God and a man with the full knowledge of the gospel to succeed in advanced nation. Yes. Do you know there are people who stay in this country 30 years without any achievement? Yes, sir. No, it's true now. It's true. It's true because sir. South Africa is a small country. South Africa is one of the best countries in the world. Mm. I am not talking of only this country. Go to United Kingdom. Mm. Go to Canada. Go to, go to uh, what is it called? Go to U.S. They can be there for years and speaking, yeah, man, yeah, man. There's no yes here. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> no, I'm telling you the truth. Yes, sir. They can be speaking, yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. We are not talking of those who speak, yeah, man. Bring us something, man. There are a lot of people who have been in this country for years. Nothing to change. No, it's true. Can I tell you this? Don't deceive yourself. Those you left at home, they are beautiful. Yes, sir. Very true. Very true. They are beautiful. Yes, sir. They are doing something. They are doing It will take only those who understand the principle of wealth and prosperity to succeed in advanced nations. Amen. The comfort is there. The comfort is there. Security might be there. But for you to save, there's a demo in advanced nations. They will introduce you to a future poverty. Yeah. Mm. I stop you. you know what I'm talking about. Yes, yes sir. sir. You just graduated from school. You don't have knowledge of anything. Yes, which three days ago, they call me, sir, we have a, ca a card for you, sir. I say, from where? Okay. <laughs> Edgar's here. How do you? Please, uh, you are qualified for it. I say, is it for free? They say, no, you will pay. And in the process of all these things, you go and take it. Somebody loses his or her job before you know the blacklist. Yeah. Now they become a stronghold. Yeah. That's what is fighting a lot of people, destiny, star, greatness, that career. You have a good job now, promising for you to get. They say, no, you're under blacklist. The cost of 2,000 naira, 4,000 naira. And some of you that like those things, before they even call your name, 
They call you to come and say, you forget that you wear different shoes. You are there. They just give you. Then when you are, you know, hey, so the way God created women. And something you go and buy on credit, you are sitting like this, oh. <laughs> something you buy on credit, instead of yes. me to hide it. I told somebody, what time would ever buy on credit is furniture in the house. Because if any time I sit on it, I have to be careful because... <laughs> Somebody shut fire. 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 Stop buying your credit. Say my friend. My, my friend. friend. Stop buying your credit. Stop, Stop buying, buying your credit. credit. You go and buy a phone that worth 20,000, 30,000. Mm. When? Oh, shabu, shabu. In this city where we are, mm. you are buying a phone of 20, peer, peer are not you. Go and buy a phone of 20,000. Some of you, you, have, you buy, 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 even you cry, you are wearing it. It's, ah. it's there. No, it's true. No, it's true. No, it's true. true sir. You are buying it even on credit. <laughs> Why not buy a phone you can afford? Yes, Go for sir. it. Mm. That's true. The last time the phone I'm using, I bought it in Nigeria. If I tell you that iPhone, phones are cheaper in Nigeria. If I buy, tell you how much I buy that phone, let me not tell you whether it's me or Tokumbo, so that you not look down. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody shut fire. Fire. Ah, yeah. Stop buying things on credit. You buy your credit. Buy clothes, credit. Your furniture, your house, credit. Your, what is it called? Your TV, credit. Even yeah. I was telling one lady one day, drive where? She just wind down. She was driving a compressor, Mercedes. I said, oh, sister, you drive me a scrap. I said, this one is cash, your own, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Go deeper. <laughs> I said, you know, anything can happen tomorrow. He said, he said stop that. I said, remember, ask. <laughs> Credit. Say, my father. My, my father. father. Let you anoint me. Let, Let you anoint me. Rock my head. Rock, Rock my head. And change my thoughts. And change my thoughts. And and change change my my thoughts. thoughts. Amen. The anointing, don't just. Amen. When a man carries the anointing, chase away evil spirit. Number one, chase away evil spirit. Anywhere he enters, he's a representative of light. A man with anointing, he said, You can never see a man that carries anointing and demons are terrorizing. Yes, sir. Do you know why people don't hate, people don't like you? In most places you go, you are a light that shines upon oh, darkness. Yes, you just enter, you're angry. You just enter, you're angry. That's why a man of God was preaching some time ago, and he said it's always good for a true man of God to stay alone. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Because if you stay among others, they will always find fault. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Number two, the gift in the man will be activated. It can be, you know, there are people who easily find luck. Huh? Yes, sir. Anywhere they go, what others couldn't get, they just get it. They yes, I know it. Number three. You become a destroyer. Destroyer is a trouble to the kingdom of darkness. A carrier of an anointing is a destroyer. Anytime you open his mouth, angels are out. Yes. You know why? There are trackers that follow the anointing. Why? Because it's a possessor of heavenly inheritance. Do you know most of these cars that carry money, they have trackers? Yes, sir. Even most of these ones that carry this truck now, that carry headpiece, yes. carry television. Do you know they put trackers inside? Yes. yes. Why are they putting trackers? They carry value. Yes. Anointing is high value substance. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Number four. You will see giants as an ant. Whether it's a problem or a person. That was a problem of Goliath. He saw David. So you this ant, you want to challenge me? Have you checked my profile? How many war I have won? He never knew that David himself was seeing him as an ant and not a giant. Mm. Oh, yeah. When you carry the oil, you don't fear. You become fearless. Even fear will fear you. Amen. Fear will fear you. Ask my man, not to fear me. Not to move me. Whether it's even child. I was praying for somebody some time ago, and she called me, saying, man, this guy is drinking her blood. I said, 
the one who starts the blood will blow that down. There are some of you Christians, the very devil, they will, they will, they will, they will, they will, they will. Devil came to Jesus. They, they had a conversation. If devil come to my house, he can't live for free because number one, he was not invited. Number two, I am paying rent where I'm living. So before you go, you must what? You must pay. What are we going to have? Hey, 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 flood on, flood on Jesus. That is, that is number. Come here and sit for the table. Number five. You will be empowered to move in the supernatural. In First Samuel chapter 10, there says something happened there. After the anointing came upon Saul, the Bible said he became a different kind of man, and not just that he prophesied among the prophets. He was initiated into the world of the spirit. Be empowered. Number six. Strength and authority will be imposed on him. Amen. Have you seen prince before? The earthly prince? Yes, huh? sir. Do you see fear in them? You don't see fear. Mm. When they are talking, they are so bold. When they are walking, they are so bold. Do you know that there is no prince that is not under initiation? Yes. yes. As royal home is concerned, there is no one that is not initiated. Yes. What is moving them? You thought it's ordinary. No. It is the spirit that is inside them. Have you ever seen a king talking? I will be shaking. No. no. Spirit. Spirit. We're talking about high level initiation. When we are talking of initiation, we are not talking of demonic things now here. We are talking of you being introduced to a different world. Though we are in this world, we are not of this world. We are in this world, but we are not what? We are not of this world. That's why some of you are losing battles. You are moving with refrains. Moving with nobodies, people who don't even know where they are going to, neither know where they are coming from. You know why? You have not met a different group. Read that scripture for me. Then the spirit of the Lord came upon him, and the spirit of the Lord will come upon you, and you will prophesy among them. He made different kind of them. Amen. Anointed. And you will prophesy among them. When anointing comes upon you, friends will change you. Yes. yes. yes sir. <laughs> Association will change. Yes. Those we are moving with before, they will what? They, they will change. change. Do you know there's a level God will bless you? Some people will feel so much inferior to be around you. Yes, sir. Yes. May that anointing come upon you. Amen. Amen. I said, May that anointing come upon you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. It gives the man the power to function beyond human ability. Anointing. 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 It gives that man to function beyond human ability. Number eight, the man will be distinguished. Do you know there are men of God who will walk past you? You will pass it through. Yes. yes. <laughs> you don't understand. There are men of God who will they, they walk past you. You will, in fact, their glory suffocate, suffocate problems. Suffocate every problem in the man's life. Because they are distinguished. You can't carry God and be among other men. No, no, no. Number nine. It enables a man to do more than what he couldn't do and achieve what he couldn't achieve. Amen. Anointing. See, many of you today go to Amish. Amen. Give yourself three months. Mm. If nothing happens, it's not God's fault. Yeah. You know why you are here? Because you came to serve the Almighty God. Amen. Mm. See, don't take a church like an ordinary home. And it's not a family meeting. Don't allow the spirit of, 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 of a familiarity to enter you when you are serving this God. Yes, sir. See it as a sacred chamber mm. where you have come to be empowered. Yes. It is how you see it, how you receive it. Number 10. It makes a man to be a healer. <laughs> is it true? Yes, yes sir. sir. James chapter 5. I'm going to stop here. Verse 14. Anointing will make you can't carry anointing and not be able to heal. Amen. Do you know there are many of you here you are healers? Yes, the sir. problem is that you don't even trust yourself. Yes. Hello? Hi. Yeah. It's true. He said they shall lay their hands upon the sick, and the sick shall be made what? Shall yeah. be made well. I'm going to stop here. Look at read the scripture. Is anyone among you sick? Is anyone among you sick? 
Let him call for the elders Can of I the tell church. You this? Yes, sir. I'm talking of the weakness of the body. Yes, sir. Poverty is sickness. Mm. Huh? Reproach, is it not a sickness? It is, sir. Sickness. Shame, is it not a sickness? It is. Sickness. Inability to pay your bills, is it not a sickness? It is a sickness. For example, now you are, you, are, you, are, you are a man. You are not proud of your wife. Is that not sickness? It's a sickness. You are a woman. You are hiding your husband. Does everybody hold your husband? Everybody hold your husband. Bam, 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 bam. Then you, your husband is here. You are doing like this. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. yeah. Do you know that not every mother is proud of their children? Yeah. Is that not sickness? It is, sir. Your son only bring you pain, shame, and reproach. And they said, mothers, please introduce your child. Will you? If your son is Anini, Anini was a preacher, but not a, not a preacher of the gospel. Will you introduce such a child as your son? Is that not a sickness? It is, sir. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him. Now, let the word anoint him. What is scripture? Let them anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. Now, verse 15. Verse and the prayer of faith will save the sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed if sins, he has committed anything, anointing praise the yoke of sinful strong. Amen. Can I tell you this? Yes, sir. Anointing is a force of empowerment. What do I mean? What you cannot do when the oil comes upon you, you will receive the power to what to do it. You know, sometimes I always tell people, you need the power, the strength, and the grace of God to do what you vow not to do again. Yes. It is not by your power. Celebrate Jesus here. How many people have come before the altar of God? Father, if I do this again, kill me. Father, I promise you I will never disappoint you again. It only lasts Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, you do that. Like aromatic shinapis at work. Yeah. Before Friday, you're like, Guyo, you fall again. Mm. Why? It is not by power, not neither by mind, but by the Spirit, Spirit. of God. The, the presence of the anointing introduced the functionality of the Spirit of God. Amen. Yes, sir. Oh. 